Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. If the task that you are creating is one that you repeat at regular intervals, such as cutting your hair or watering plants, you can also set the recurrence as you create the task. That way, when you have completed the task, it will automatically regenerate itself so you don't have to worry about rescheduling the task again every time you need to do it. Once it's completed, the next occurrence of the task that you will need to accomplish would automatically insert itself into your task list. To set task recurrence, simply click the Recurrence button in the task window. You can also open a task that you've created and select Actions from the menu bar and then choose Recurrence. Either way, it will launch the Recurrence dialog box, and here you can set the recurrence pattern for your task. In the Recurrence Pattern section, select the pattern of recurrence. Should it be daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly? To the right of that section, fill in the specific pattern for the selected recurrence. In the Range of Recurrence section, set the start date for the recurrence, and then select when you want the recurrence pattern to end, if ever. Once you've set your recurrence pattern, click OK. Then click Save and Close. After you've completed an instance of a recurring task, you can check it off and notice that it automatically generates one for the next day, if you had, say, a daily recurrence, or it'll simply create the next instance of the event, whether it was a task for next week or a task for next month. Sometimes there will also be a recurring task that will no longer recur in the future. In this case, you can delete all future instances of that task. To delete a recurring task, you need to open your task list and select the recurring task you wish to delete. Then select Edit from the menu bar and choose Delete, or click the Delete button in the standard toolbar. This will bring up the dialog box with two options delete all occurrences or delete just that one occurrence. You can select to delete all to delete the selected occurrence and all future recurrences or you can select, select to delete just this one to delete just the currently selected occurrence. And then click OK. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!